baby mark. Steph, my brother. What's happening, John? How you doing? I'm good. Great to see you. Great to see you, too. Where are you sitting right now? What city are you in? I am in uh, Palo Alto right now, but I, I claim the whole Bay Area is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm in Los Angeles. I've lived here for the past few years and uh, just been with my family all morning and uh, excited to talk to you today. Absolutely. Same here. Okay, so let's talk about the Bay Area a little bit. Now that you've been a player for the Warriors for so long and you feel so connected to that area, what does that mean for you when you think about what you can give back to the community? I mean, it means a lot. So like you said, this is our adoptive home. Me and my wife came out here in 09 when I got drafted. And uh, we got married that, like two years later and began to start a family out here. Like you said, I got an interaction with our entire fan base, the community here in the Bay Area. And a part of our DNA, you know, growing up was always finding a way to impact your community at whatever level and in whatever interest there was, because we know there's need out there somewhere. And if you do just a little bit and you change one person's life, then you're doing something amazing. The love that the community has shown us, we want to be able to give that right back and do it in a, in a very uh, impactful way. And so um, it's been an amazing journey to get to this point where we now have our own foundation and have roots in Oakland. Let's talk about the name, Eat, Learn, and Play. Why did you decide to name your foundation that? Uh, as we have gone through the years, it became apparent that right in our backyard here in Oakland, uh, identifying how to support you know, a, a healthy childhood for us was something that, you know, obviously we had kids of our own. We know how blessed they are to, to have the means, education, safe places to play, uh, healthy nutrition. Those three pillars, eat, learn, and play, provide uh, that roadmap uh, for a child to reach their full potential. I think it rings loud for not only people who uh, want to participate in the mission with us, but also for the child to know, like, this is something that's going to help me in these three areas that are going to, you know, introduce yeah. confidence and security and uh, just opportunity. That's beautiful. And it's fundamental. Like, as parents, we know there are certain elements of protection, of security, of safety, of nourishment that every kid needs, and too many kids don't have access to that. And so I'm glad you and Aisha decided we're going to address those needs. Absolutely. And even now, if you think about in the pandemic, all those um, things have been kind of just increase exponentially. Yeah. You know, how the school system was shut down during the pandemic and how many kids rely on on school meals I and mean, even just access to in-person education and, and you know, those critical early development years. Um, you're right. Like, those are the essentials that should be a non-negotiable for any kid to, to have access to. Yeah, and I think what happened with the pandemic, I think uh, it exposed some things that were already in existence for people, some challenges that were, were already there but it, it really threw it into relief so people could really see it clearly. And it made everybody rethink the way we help each other, the way we take care of each other, the way we see each other. And um, hopefully it'll make us think more about uh, folks that don't have the resources they need as we go forward, as we eventually emerge from the pandemic. Hopefully we'll continue to look at each other, love each other, take care of each other and support each other uh, as though we were going through this massive human challenge that the pandemic has been. Absolutely, that's so well said. I've seen so many examples of that in the last year and a half, um, but you've been blessed with a, an amazing opportunity, which I love to hear, you know, how a human level became an idea and how you were kind of prompted into uh, to that mission. We started it looking at what was going on during the pandemic, looking at how um, 2020 and the George Floyd protests and so many conversations around equity and Black Lives Matter, the whole country was having these conversations, but so much of the work that needed to be done needed to be done on a human level, on a community level. And so we decided to basically raise money and fund fellows to go into communities, work in the cities, work with organizers, and try to promote equity within city government. Because so many of our allocation decisions, so many of the choices that are made about how cities are lived in and how opportunities and resources are distributed are done on the local level. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make sure we had voices in the community who were responding to the community's needs and saying, we're going to make sure we're looking out for everybody. How have you found um, you, know, you being able to balance 
being a, a world-class legendary artist, but also maintaining a, a constant focus and, uh, and effort around showing up in these places, in these communities that matter. Well, I think you know, any athlete knows who plays a team sport that the team is so important who's around you. You are the greatest shooter of all time, but you need a team if you're gonna succeed. My day job is still being a musician, but I'm able, as an artist who has a platform, who has influence, I'm able to bring other people in to help support me, to learn about all these things we're trying to accomplish in the world, and to go out there and help make it happen. And I'm really fortunate that I have a great team around me. That's amazing. You gotta find the right teammates, man. Looks like you- uh... That's right. You, you know who you know who to pick. You know your personnel, as we say in the basketball game. I like that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Been great to uh, just understand, you know, your whole background and and, uh, and and community give back and how you've uh, dedicated, uh, you know, your time, your resources, your your perspective and attention um, to some necessary conversations that need to be had in our country. And it is inspiring and, and encouraging uh, and motivating. Um, and I know, you know, we carry, you know, some of that same spirit uh, with our organization, Eat, Learn, Play. Well, thank you for what you're doing and what Aisha's doing and your whole organization are doing. And I'm so excited that I got to learn more about uh, what Eat, Learn, Play is doing. And I think so many people out there are learning about what we're doing and they might be inspired. So we want to direct everybody to themoreyouknow.com so you can find out more about what our organizations are doing and how you can get involved in making the world a little bit better. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. Great to see you, sir. Thank you, my man. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Great to see you, too. All right, too. be well. Love to you and the family, Appreciate brother. It, man.